Hey Libra and welcome back to my channel, Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. My name is Dee and I want to thank you guys for tuning in to the Card House series. This is going to be a message for you guys today for Libra, wherever you have Libra in your chart. Um, I don't like to confine it to just one part of your chart. So wherever there's Libra, you can apply it there. Keep in mind that it is a general reading for Libra, so it may or may not resonate. Parts of the message might resonate, parts of the story might not. That's totally okay. If you want to book a personal reading with me, you can find that information below, as well as if you would like to donate to the channel, you can find it below. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, as always, I always like to point out and clarify this is a channel of love, light, and spiritual insight. So please don't waste your energy leaving any negativity regarding black magic or dark magic because this is not the space for that. Libra, your cards is falling all over the place. So I'm sensing that your energy could be all over the place here. You could be a little jittery, a little nervous about something here. Um, we'll get into the cards just to see if that's the energy that comes out. But yeah, you could be a little, I'm getting nervousness from you guys. So let's see what's going on with you, Libra. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you guys are aware of when I upload new content. Yeah, your energy is very jumpy, Libra. What's going on? All right, what we got? So we have living light energy. See the beauty in life. See the beauty in life. Let's see what else we have come out for you guys. Let me turn this light up just a little bit. There we go. See the beauty in life. So I'm feeling like you guys are seeing things from a, a different perspective here too. You're seeing the beauty in something here. cards to pop out i'll put them back but we do have appreciation we do have a uh, door to personal healing and happiness and then we do have second chakra archangel ariel so yeah i'm feeling like you guys are appreciating something a little bit more here you're able to see the brighter side of things maybe it was something that once had you like nervous or um anxious i'm feeling like you're able to kind of like see the better side of things now we have the third chakra, Archangel Chamiel here. Let's see. What else do we have for my Libras? Yeah, still, still jumpy energy though. Maybe you guys are wanting to see the beauty in something or wanting to like see something balance out, but you you can't help yourself here. All right. Emotions are running high. What did I just say? You can't help yourself here. And then we have a second card behind it. A win-win outcome is in the forecast. Okay, so things are going to work out for you, but you're very nervous, very jumpy about something here, Libra. Let's see. Let me take a look at, I want to read you guys this um, this third chakra card right out of the book. I feel like there's something that needs to be heard here. Someone needs to hear a message from this. So let's see what it says. So it says, the powerful archangel Chamiel is holding a beautiful spear of golden light at the solar plexus, which is the location of your third chakra and the center of your life force energy. The issues here revolve around emotions of desire and your personal energy. When a card appears upright, it indicates that an increased enthusiasm is present or soon to be on its way. This is a great time to move toward the completion of your desires. Your life force is vibrating with power and resonance and your soul is calling you to direct your energy in a focused, purposeful manner. This angel of power is with you now, so go for it. Yeah, okay, so you guys are definitely, again, with this emotions are running high. There's a lot going on. There's a lot 
um, that kind of has you jittery, a lot maybe that you're thinking about. I feel like your creativity is very, very high. Um, hmm. Let me see what this is in regards to here. Let's see. Give me three cards for living light energy for Libra. You could be dealing with some who, um, someone whose initial first, middle, or last name is an L. L here. Give me a card for my Libras. Ooh, we got a lot of cards running out, falling out here. Okay, so let's see. So we got the Ten of Pentacles and we got the Justice card seeing the beauty in life so i'm feeling like things are good for you guys i'm feeling like you have a happy um home dynamic a happy family dynamic i'm feeling like money is good for you guys as well or if it's not it's coming in for you because we have the justice card i feel like you have been reaping some very good karma here libra and you are on the receiving end of that now very good energy here give me another card for loving like energy page of cups yeah, so this could be a new love offer coming in for you as well. Some form of stability, a stable lover coming in for you. This could be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio with the Page of Cups here. I'm feeling like that you are feeling this is good, too good to be true because we have a pig flying at the top of the card. One of those, like, you'll believe it when pigs fly. So I feel like this person is too good to be true for you. Or at least you thought that about this person at one point in time. But now you're able to see that this person is for real. You're able to see the beauty in this person in the situation. Just give me three cards for third chakra. Oh, wow. Okay, so King of Pentacles, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn here. Or also, this is letting me know, again, that your money is very stable right now. Two of Swords and the Eight of Swords. Okay, so there is something dealing with this um, this King of Pentacles. This could be a husband if you are already married. Um, but I feel like you are not wanting to take make a decision here in regards to this person or you are blocking this person out here. Um, and then you have this Eight of Swords. So you're mentally conflicted. I'm feeling like you don't know how to feel about this person. Again, emotions are running on high. I feel like you have emotions for this person. You have feeling for, feelings for this person, but it's a part of you that's wanting to block them out. Um, a part of you that is mentally conflicted about this person entirely. Yeah, Two of Swords and then the Eight of Swords. So that's the, the Ten of Swords together. Um, I'm feeling like, I don't know, maybe you're scared that this person is going to hurt you here, but at the bottom of the deck, we have the 10 of cups. So I see emotional fulfillment. I see again, a happy life, a happy family dynamic. I see, I see children, um, in the future. If you guys already don't have children here, let's see emotions running on high. Why is Libra's emotions running on high? Give me three cards for emotions running on high here. Yeah, and it says a win-win outcome. Um, a win-win outcome is in the forecast. So we have the King of Swords. We have the Star card. So this could also be in regards to our air sign. We have um, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini here. Or it could be an Earth sign with air in their chart or an air sign with Earth in their chart here. But let me see. Yeah, I feel like you're blocking this person for some reason. Then you have the Emperor card here. Hmm. I'm feeling like you're blocking this person, but you're wishing for this person all in the same all in the same um instance here, Libra. It's kind of crazy. At the bottom of the card, we have the devil. The bottom of the card. <laughs> the bottom of the deck, we have the devil card here. So it's possible that this person is a bit toxic for you. We do have the emperor card here. Can be a little bit controlling. Or I'm just feeling like this person is dominant and that scares you. Maybe you've never had somebody like that in your life. Um, but the devil card doesn't necessarily have to be like toxic, something negative, negative. It could just be that you like feel so strongly about this person. Yeah. Emotions running on high. That's what it is. What the devil card is, you feel so pulled to this person. You feel so strongly about this person. Like all you can think about is them. They make you, you're feeling so all over a place. I feel like you're scared here, even though this is something that you've always wished for. I feel like you're blocking, blocking this person out 
I can't even speak. I feel like you can't talk around this person. I feel like you're blocking them out, whether it is consciously or subconsciously here. Okay, Libra. Let's see what else we have come out for you. Win win outcome is in the forecast. All right. So we got some stuff. <laughs> All right. So we got the Queen of Swords popped out in a reverse. It was kind of like all over the place to be honest and then we have the eight of swords uh, i'm sorry the eight of wands but the eight of wands was upright so this is how it fell out on my arm here and then after that we have the two of cups yeah so a win-win outcome is in the forecast two of cups like i feel like you guys are coming together it's going to work out perfectly um or it should it would if you are able to kind of stop blocking this person out here but i feel like something is coming in quick some sort of communication from this person is coming in or they're coming to see you traveling towards you sending you a text message i feel like you're going to get some sort of message from them um then we have the queen of swords in reverse here so i feel like you are going to end up dropping your guards here because it's not upright. And matter of fact, yeah, this is you, Libra. So Queen of Swords, this is your energy. Queen of Swords, um, air energy, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But you're in, a revert, in the reverse. So you're not blocking this person out. And then I feel like after you make that decision and you let your guards down, that's when this person is going to be feeling comfortable enough to come in towards you for this union, offer you something, tell you how they feel. Um something along those lines there and then at the bottom of the deck we have the six of pentacles so yeah i'm getting balanced i feel like this is going to be a very much so e oh i cannot talk this person definitely makes you nervous i don't know what's going on i'm feeling choked up can't get my words out but with the six of pentacles it's symbolizing a equal give and take there's a balance here this person is going to balance you out this is more pentacles um so more earth energy towards virgo capricorn again yeah, I'm feeling like things are going to work out. But I, f I feel like this person gives you butterflies. This third chakra card here is definitely giving me butterflies in the stomach. Your emotions are running on high. But a win-win um, outcome is in the forecast, Libra. I feel like you have nothing to worry about here. All right. So let's see. What else? Let's get a wisdom card for you guys. Spirit, give us a wisdom card for the Libra in regards to this situation. What else does Libra need to know? All right. It says go the distance, Libra. Go the distance. Give this person a chance here. Open up. Drop those guards. This person is here for longevity. This person is here definitely for the long run, for stability. Go to difference, okay? So I feel like luck is on your side, Libra. You are very lucky. Um, hopefully this helps. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps out the channel. And drop a comment. I'm wanting to figure out, I want to know like who this person is for you guys. If this resonates, just let me know how it resonates. And I will see you guys next time.